What's going on collectors optical 20 here for another video review this time it is Asmus collectibles Nazgul with steed and uh, you can purchase this figure at bigbadtoystore.com however I don't think it's available anymore but other Asmus and Lord of the Rings especially um they came out with Legolas they're gonna come out with uh, Gimli Boromir and Aragorn the slim version the rooted hair so watch out for that and you can purchase them all at bigbadtoystore.com just click the link in the description and uh, you know it comes it, it, when I bought this it, it was on sale it was pretty cheap I believe it's around $220 and, and I think that's a bargain for a a big figure like this it it was um, this and the steed and it was pretty awesome you know I already took out uh, I took it out of the, the brown box because you know whenever you buy it big bad it comes it doesn't just come with their shipper they double box it so that's pretty awesome because you know your figures are uh are mint you know they're they're protected and also it doesn't have any stickers from the outside from the shipper box so just in case you want to sell it again you know it doesn't look you know, i guess some people are, are anal about those but as you can see here it says Nazgul um, their certificate of authenticity and they only made like 1500 of these and this is the steed it's a pretty large box by itself and um, I would say the biggest hurdle of collectors that's gonna purchase this one is the space um, it's large you know I, I don't know if you can ever fit this in a detail maybe if you I guess strategically you know place it or pose it but the box is huge as you can see that's a nice um, artwork it's a beautiful figure don't get me wrong um i hope asmus revisits this figure because i know a lot of people miss this um i guess this is the this is the initial uh search of asmus they're they're not um i guess they're not that active yet but now they're all over social media you know you see their their products and it's it's amazing it's uh, and i hope they revisit this one so that uh, fans of the series would enjoy them not only because right now you can only buy them i guess on ebay uh, i believe big bad is already sold out but you know i, I want to share this experience with other uh, lord of the rings collectors out there and you can see there's there's they come in two separate boxes so um keeping them would be a little bit of a pain but it's okay you know uh, i got a, a storage on my garage um strategically uh um, placed there and once you take this out it's it's a big box you know there's a manual right there it's kind of fading because i, I who knows how long has this been figured in uh in big bad's uh storage facility but overall uh it's i love it it's pretty cool it's a one six scale of the horse which is massive <laughs> so I at initially I was like where am I gonna put this horse but I I, I know I want to have it you know I know I want to have because this is one of those cool characters from the from the film it doesn't have any face or anything but you know, see you can see the armor of the hand right there it's nicely sculpted um, and mind you this figure has been released years now you know maybe five years ago or so I, I, for, I, I don't know don't quote me on that but um i know they released this and there's a blitzway or something i don't know aci i think released this as well but um you know i i like asmus and i, I like my collection to be streamlined and plus it comes with a horse with, with a steed so why not you know and the steed was pretty cool as well i had a lot of fun filming this um and i was i, I meant to release this a while back but i got busy you know i had a baby and whatnot but um that's why i'm <laughs> my uh my workplace here is in the transition pace uh i don't know if you've seen my uh, thor review as well it's, i'm on the transition phase there i was renovating my house and whatnot but uh it's watchable so i hope you guys still find this useful and he comes with a sword this is the nazgul his accessories um it's die cast too it's just good and bad because it, it's a little heavy and I know that the first batch um, 
and this is where Asmus is pretty cool as well. They, I think they made a boo boo on the body because it's not too stable. So back then you gotta send out that that card, that certificate of authenticity, and they send you a different body. I don't know if it's still going on. I asked um, one of the friendly guys in Asmus, and they said, you know, it's since it's been released so long, um, you can, you know, still send it, but. Uh, they're gonna wait for another body and might take a while but knowing them you know they're, they're gonna do good on this so i, I didn't do it because mine is, is still okay i guess so and if it happens to be not you know i'll, I'll figure something out but this is the base of the uh, steed it's pretty awesome look at that it has worms i don't know if you remember from the movie um the fellowship of the ring uh this is the first time that they came out don't mind my intro it says two towers I'm, I'm i was lazy to make another intro but plus the two towers is my i would say my the battle in um you know the battle scene from that movie is the one that stuck in my mind although i i like all the films when it comes to uh lord of the rings the hobbit even the hobbit you know i, I do love it but um if i have to cho uh, i have had to choose battle in helm's deep man it's that's the thing right there uh this is the uh, nazgul itself it's pretty awesome you know i've seen I, I was reading on forums that some people did some water um you know, I, I don't know if it's coffee or something that uh, there's a technique where they they put it on the fabric so it, it it's kind of loose but you know the fabric here stays you know i, I don't know how but uh it's, it's kind of stiff but it works pretty well it works pretty well for it it's, it's ragged and, and all that stuff you know the hands are um are okay you know they could be a little bit better but like i said this is an older figure so we can't judge their work and you see they got some forearm gauntlets as well so that's pretty cool uh see i don't remember like i said i shot this a while back and you know it has a good range of movement um the sword was kind of heavy like i said so I don't know if it's gonna stay. The body's a bit loose, so um, I'm gonna contact them. You know, see what happens. But I'm sure they'll they'll be okay. But them by itself, uh, I now I, I got it displayed not in a detail, obviously, because it's not gonna fit. But um, yeah, the armor's on his legs as well. It's pretty cool. Um, it works. You know, it works fine. You know, especially when he's riding the horse, it looks pretty badass him and and the guy i don't know what you call that the the witch king i believe I, I was trying to you know look for that guy i couldn't i should have jumped on it when i saw it on big bad for 150. now they're going on ebay for 300 or so and i'm just hoping here crossing my fingers that um you know asmos revisits this villains and and remakes them you know in a more i guess in a better way because they 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 grew so much from these release um to now you know if you've seen their their legolas the the head sculpt there it's it's out there i know a lot of people are are not too happy with not having a rooted hair but if you've seen their body of work improve from time to time you know and i now i certainly hope they do revisit this uh this older figures because um like the, I, I mean they don't like this guy i think it's okay he's perfectly fine with me i just want other people to um experience them as well and as far as the steed uh looks pretty awesome you know can't complain Looks pretty badass uh i'm thinking of other figures that can take advantage of this um this horse uh but i don't know i can't think of any that i have in my collection uh robocop wouldn't have a use for him or any of my marvel guys but uh you know it, it's there it's it's pretty cool i mean he's he's not meant for anyone else the i would say the, the only um i guess kind of wish that i it does is that it, it should stand by itself but it doesn't but it's okay that's what where the stand is for it's just that you know if you're trying to display it by itself and you're trying to hide that stand you know trying to take pictures of it and what what not you know might be uh, a good option not to use it yeah right there look at that look at all those details in his armor he looks um he looks pretty mean as well it's a big horse too gigantic horse 
So make sure you if you if you buy this 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 combo because I know you can buy the Nazgul by itself. So if you go to eBay, the running price I would say is around two hundred for the Nazgul. I don't know about the combo, maybe around three hundred because initially I believe it's right two ninety nine, initially, but uh, Big Bad had this uh, fall sale so always keep an eye on them you know i always wanted to buy some stuff there too like uh uh jake sully from avatar you know I've, I've always wanted to get that from um big bad but you know i don't know if it's worth it we'll see but there you go there's um uh, nice details on the horse there's ratchet joints um on his knees and his ankles not ankles but i don't know what you call that there's like a little shin or whatever from the horse and uh all his um you know what do you call that his saddle um pretty weathered out there it's uh the horse has this texture of um velvety type or felt i don't know if you want to i don't know how you call that that material but yeah it's so because of that i don't know how like i said i don't know how long has this this figure has been sitting on their shelves because obviously it's been there for a while because they put it on clearance so the horse itself has some imperfections on it and i know it hasn't been returned because big bad's not gonna do that but you know i didn't say anything about it because it's just that's just how it goes and i don't want to return it because i want to you know keep it in my collection because look at that look at that post right there it looks pretty badass and then the light i mean the the his ice lights up too it's pretty cool look at that that sound like my son he keeps on saying look at that but yeah there's a lot of details in these two figures and um if you pose them correctly pose them nicely you know along with other lord of the rings figures from asmos this would look pretty uh pretty badass but honestly this is a guy that can stand alone because nazgul is pretty iconic you know, I would say more iconic than the Witch King, because, uh, look at that, oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot I, I did this poses, because right now, they're just standing right next to each other, because they're on my basement on the shelf, and my ceiling is pretty low on the basement, so uh, I can't really pull up this, their, this pose, especially they're in the shelf that is pretty close to the ceiling, um, but yeah, you can pull this kind of... I, I want to take a picture of this, you know, every one of these days, and just look at that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just trying to. Um, um, sometimes I'm impressed with the details myself, especially if I shot this a while back. Those those things are me are die cast as well. Those uh, chains on his uh, on his face. Those uh, straps are leather or pleather. Um, hopefully they don't peel. Although I haven't really experienced any of those. Um, at least from Asmus, I have from Hot Toys, but very rare. I know it's uh, it, it all depends on where you live and where I am at. I'm in Illinois, so it's not not terrible, you know. So get that uh, another spin, and yeah, I'm gonna try to put them with my uh, my hobbits. I already got the hobbits complete. Uh, I'm just waiting for my fellowship uh, to be done. I'm um, yet to get. Legolas, you know this 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 month has been pretty uh, pretty rough on me, but I'll get there. They're ready to fight them off, and um, of course that's I believe that's Pippin who's on the ground, and Frodo ready ready to uh, put that ring on his finger. He's scared, you know, he's scared. He want to put it in. You know, he want to disappear. As you can see, the scale right there too. So. And uh, if you can buy more than one, that would be a nice display, I can imagine. But they would look all the same, though. So I don't know how many Nazgul's there. I believe there's seven, if I'm not mistaken. So if you can buy seven, if you're rich, you know, you buy seven. If you have a lot of space, that, that would look pretty badass in your display. Yeah, mm, I like this shot. If I can change Photoshop the background, you know, of a forest or something like that. Edit that. Uh, <laughs> that that electronic plug the one that lights up the room for me and this uh it will be pretty easy too because you can you know, my background is pretty uh pretty dull 
and I'll just put a few poses with the Nazgul and uh, we'll wrap this thing up. If the, um, I, I don't know, I, I like the Nazgul, but knowing that the body is a bit a suspect, it kind of like bothers me. Even though um, I don't see myself posing him in any dynamic poses because they're, it's not like they're going to fight like ninjas or anything like that. Um, I'm waiting for the for them to release Aragorn because, you know, at least he can kind of simulate the fighting scene that they had when he was Strider. Pretty cool. This is him kind of ready to attack with this. Uh, this is the shorter sword that he does have. He also has the... Um, um, the, the the longer sword. I don't know where I put it. Probably on his side, right there. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, him cradling the sword like a baby. I'm running out of poses at this point. <laughs> it's because um, they're they're a bit cumbersome to pose because they're hard to futz around. Like especially this kind of uh, I don't even, yeah, it, it, maybe you call this an outfit. You know because. Are they supposed to flow? Just yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, but they look pretty awesome to me. You know, as long as they they got this black robe going on with no face, that's all you basically need. Yeah, I've seen some parts too. If you go to eBay or um, I forgot that website where you buy like parts of one six scale figures, but. Yeah, you can buy some parts and maybe generate another one of Nazgul. I would certainly, if I had to buy another one, I wouldn't buy another horse because that uh, that would be too big. And this is just size comparison to uh, Grishnak. Grishnak, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Grishnak is one of their their finest, uh, their finer. Um, what do you call this villain as well? He's. He's pretty close to perfect as far as head sculpt and accessories and all that is concerned. So I like that. I, I really like this release of Rishnak. I'm waiting for them to release Lurtz, I believe is his name. The badass orc. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you are planning to pick this one up, it depends on the price. Obviously, there you can't buy them from retail anymore. So the retail is $2.99. So that's kind of like your price point. Um, would, would you get them for less on eBay? Probably not. Are they going to be worth more than $2.99? Now, it's up to you because I, I bought this for $2.20. So anything more than that, I would say no. Uh, but if you are a big fan of, you know, Lord of the Rings, and I would say I go for the retail. You know, if you can afford $2.99 and, and you're... $2.99 nowadays on a 1.6 scale is not that bad. This is not, you know, 2012, or that should be a DX. Um, got a purple coat joke for $2.50. This guy has a horse, you know, so uh, you do the math. $2.50, you add $50, and you get this entire set, which is pretty nice. So I would suggest $2.99. If you can get it for less, even better, but I wouldn't pay anything more than $300, I, I would say. Just because of the sheer size you know you might regret you might get a buyer's remorse if you do get it uh but certainly if you are a fan i would highly recommend this one uh just be mindful of the space if you don't just go for the nascal itself the nascal is pretty awesome you know he's uh mean looking by himself so i would get that as well so once again thank you for watching guys and if you haven't subs done so please subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram i post pictures there all the time and on facebook so 